Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Defocus node. We're going to jump into Fusion and we're going to add a Defocus node. All a Defocus node does is it kind of simulates the effect of an out of focus camera and it adds some bloom if you need bloom, image flaring, and it basically applies kind of like a fast Gaussian mode as well if you need kind of a uh, different look. So the defocus up here, you've got whether you're running in just Gaussian mode or the lens mode. And like I said, they're pretty much the same. And uh, it's just going to give you some additional stuff. And the lens is going to be a little slower since it's supplying these additional effects but not much lower. You're not going to notice the difference. So defocus size sets uh, the size of the defocus effect. So higher values mean it's blurrier and larger blooms if you have bloom set. So as we change this, you can see it gets blurrier. And this, what's going on in the background here is the bloom. So you can set your bloom level to kind of uh, determine the, the intensity of it. I don't know why they have it set so high on default because this portion doesn't look too great. But what it basically does is when you kind of defocus on a regular camera, it kind of brings you out of those highlights kind of change a little bit in a real camera. So that's what it's kind of simulating, but it does it a little too much. So I either turn this all the way off or just barely pump it up to like 0 0.005 or something. So that way when you're defocusing it, it's not really uh, affecting your image too much. And then once you have a bloom level, your bloom threshold changes when that'll kick in. Now down here, you've also got lens type and It'll just kind of change the uh, the look of, let me zoom in here, of our blur. So if I change our defocus size so you can kind of see what's going on. Right now it's on this uh, end gone. So if I change sides, you can see it's kind of changed in the look of that from three sides up to multiple sides. And your lens shape changes the actual size of the lens shape. It's not changing the actual shape. And then your lens angle rotates that end gun that's going around. And then of course you've got this kind of round lens type. Round with a uh, kind of blur in the middle and just straight round. So let's pick one and Get kind of a look and you can kind of see what's going on around our eyes with this uh, shape as we uh, kind of defocus in and defocus out. So we're going to up our sides to six, change our shape and reset our angle there. So there we go. That's a decent look. And then down here we have clipping modes, which are the typical, whether it's clipping your frame, your domain of definition or no clipping at all. So what can you do with this node? If you forget to uh, get that defocus look in camera, which is normally the best thing to do if you're going for that in and out defocus look, you can use this node. So we can go ahead and get our uh, starting defocus hit a keyframe, go a couple nodes up, drop it down, keyframe it, go a couple up, bring it up again, bring it back down. Let's, uh, right when she's passing this phone, We'll bring it up quite a bit and then bring it back down. 
and then we'll throw one more right here. There, so we not got kind of like a defocus coming in and out on the footage, which just adds a little bit of life. And uh, if I go over here to this gauze and blur tab, you can see it's the same exact settings as the gauze and blur. It's still keyframed and everything. It's just missing those lens uh, options. So if you go to lens, you've got the lens options back. And you can go in there fine tune if you want. If you want that bloom level to be up a little more, so you get a little flash in, you can change that. And that is the defocus node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.